Chapter 8, Topic 4, What are Mutations? In this topic, we're going to cover what is a mutation, causes of mutations, types of mutations, how mutations get fixed, and positive and negative mutations. The learning objectives for this topic are be able to define the term mutation and discuss its importance, be able to differentiate among frame shift, nonsense, silent, and missense mutations. So just what is a mutation? This is any change to the genetic code. This can be a single nucleotide mistake all the way to the changing of an entire gene. These mutations can occur naturally through mistakes in the DNA replication process or through environmental exposure. These changes to the code are what causes genetic diversity and drives the evolution of an organism. Before we move on, we need to clarify two terms, wild type and mutant strain. The wild type is the organism as it exists in nature without any changes to it. Mutant strains are those that have been modified either in the lab or naturally. The bugs you use in the lab have been mutated specifically to make them less virulent so we don't have to worry about exposure as much. Otherwise, it would be unsafe to let you work with these microbes in the lab. As I just mentioned, there are two types of mutations, spontaneous and induced. Spontaneous are those that occur randomly as a part of the DNA replication process. There are also induced mutations. These are caused by mutagens such as UV light or nitrous acid. Either way these mutations arise, they can have a variety of effects depending on the type which we will address next. As I mentioned, there are a variety of mutations. You can see a selection of these here. The first of these are lethal mutations. When these mutations occur, the organism can no longer function properly and will die. On the opposite end of the spectrum are the neutral mutations. These mutations do not produce any noticeable change in the organism. Within both of these categories are a variety of types that can create either of, the, of these or moderate mutations. The first is a small mutation known as a point mutation. This is where a single nucleotide is modified. This point mutation may result in a silent or neutral mutation or may result in a missense or nonsense mutation. Missense or nonsense mutations cause enough of a change in the amino acids that the protein changes shape so that it is non-functional. More extreme than the point mutation is the frame shift mutation. These will hardly ever result in a neutral or silent mutation because they change many nucleotides and can alter the entire structure of the protein. This is a much more a drastic mutation. So as you can see, some mutations are minor and don't cause any issues in the organism, and some cause major changes that can even be lethal. Take a moment to go through these types of mutations again to make sense, to make sure you have them straight. It can easily be confusing because some of these are subcategories or more than one of the others. So can these mutations be repaired? The short answer is yes, but the long answer is that they are not always caught and repaired. There are two repair mechanisms. One occurs during DNA replication and the other catches mutations caused by mutagens. Regardless of how the error is caught, the repair is made through a process known as excision repair. In this process, the error is identified, then removed by an enzyme, and then polymerase replaces the bases with correct bases, repairing the error entirely. We always think of mutations as negative things, but as I mentioned in the earlier slide, Mutations also drive evolution. This means that they have to be positive in order to allow the organism to reach reproductive success. A good human example of a mutation is blue eyes. Scientists believe that one individual hundreds of years ago had a mutation for blue eyes, and through the, that individual reproducing, the trait spread through the human race and has become a regular part of our phenotypes. However, just because some mutations are positive, many are not. Most are negative, and the individual with the mutation will not survive or reproduce. Mutations can become helpful if the environment were to suddenly change to favor those organisms, such as drug resistance and microbes. 
most human populations have access to antibiotics. So because the microbes have been exposed to higher levels of antibiotics, those organisms with drug resistance have been favored and there are more of them in the environment. That's it for this topic. As a reminder of what the learning objectives are, remember that you need to be able to define the term mutation and discuss its importance. Be able to differentiate among frameshift, nonsense, silent, and missense mutations.